Hello and welcome to the Reverse Security Christmas Challenge 2021 Challenge Free Solution video. Wow, that was a mouthful. Uh, so in this video, we're going to take a look at a challenge that uh, can be entirely solved with Cyber Chef, but there's a little twist in there. Let's go and uh, see what we have for this challenge. Right, so here we are on the uh, River Security uh, CTF page and um, going for challenge free, we see that uh, we have here uh, the title, what does this mean? So this is going to be a, an encoding, decoding type of challenge. Uh, when looking for the prizes to this challenge, we came across some text we can understand. Uh, can you help us figure out what it means? And there's a link. So if you open up this link in a separate tab, you will uh, um, have this uh, blob of data, which you probably guessed it looks like Base64. Now, common misconception, and um, this is not really a tutorial or, or educational video, but I have to spend some time here. When people say when you have double equal sign, it's always Base64. That's not true. Uh, double equal is just there to signal padding. And um, depending on the length of the input data or output data, depending on which way you're looking at it, uh, you might have padding or you might not have padding at all. And if you look at this example here, we don't have padding at all. Uh, it's just base64 data here. And the way you know it is just you, you, you sort of uh, develop this spidey sense kind of thing and um, you will look at the data and you will realize yeah this kind of looks like base 64 so let's copy the whole thing and we're going to go to everyone's favorite swiss army knife of encoding and decoding which is going to be cyber chef I'm going to drop this into the input field and uh, cyber chef has uh, amazing functionality one that i I'm going to admit it fairly recently discovered is that once you copy something into the input field, the output field might have this magic wand there. And all you need to do is just click on the magic wand and up to a certain point, you will be able to uh, keep just clicking on the magic wand and uh, transform the data until you reach to this point in this uh, case. Uh, for this challenge, you won't be able just to keep clicking on the magic wand and uh, be done with it, but you're going to bump into this obstacle. If you look at this data here, it, it, it kind of looks consistent. We we have a feeling that this is not all random, but uh, when I initially looked at this, I had no idea what I'm looking at it. Uh, so I, uh, I started Googling like you would do. And I, um, looking at the data, I realized that uh, we have uh, an interesting uh, opening and closing uh, bracket uh, structure here. So we have the angle bracket and the tilde and then uh, and the tilde and the uh, closing angle bracket here. So what I had in mind is just I'm going to Google these characters and see what comes up. So here we have the Google search result when you uh, use a search uh, that is explicitly asking Google to only show results that have these characters and uh, I think I checked the first one but the uh, the second one uh, is really the one that gave me uh, more pointers. Uh, so here it's just um, a Python diff uh, uh, on, on a Python code and um, let's search for the, the opening one. If you uh, take a look at the uh, close uh, and end part of that blob we just got as a result from the cyber chef transformations you will see that this one says b85 start and b85 and there's also here this encode um, function which is uh, for some reason uh, starts with a85 instead of b85 uh, so it doesn't matter actually what you search for here under operations if you go back to cyber chef if you search for b85 you're immediately going to get the base 85 but actually i think it gives back the same result for a85 as well so we kind of have a, a sense uh, of um, accomplishment here this is probably uh, a different base encoding there's not only just base 64 there are other encoding schemes 
So this is probably B85. So I'm just going to add another operation to my CyberChef recipe from base 85 and then transform the data. Now this one kind of looks like Morse code, but I'm not going to try to figure this one out and manually solve it because I have a magic wand. So I'm just going to keep licking on the magic wand until I get the flag. The full recipe can be seen here. And if I uh, click on the uh, save icon we see that uh, these are the series of transformations we had to go through so base uh, 64 then base 58 uh, it was then uh, easy compressed so we had to decompress it then we did that base 85 transformation uh, then it was morse code so we had to decode it then we had hex uh, and then at the very end base uh, 32 which is uh, something that you might see every now and then but base 64 is really the, the more common base transformation so here's the flag and uh, let's go to the where is my challenge page here it is so i'm going to uh, submit it just to check if this is really the correct flag and indeed we have the flag for day free challenge free well this is all i really like this little twist cyber chef is a great tool but uh sometimes it will not give you the definite answer immediately uh and uh, you shouldn't rely on the magic one but whenever it appears it, you can just click on it and hope that you have something meaningful that's all for this video see you in the next one